Hello, this is Goku Sun DBZ. I'm afraid to announce that I will be doing away with Goth Hits and with also the series Pop vs. Rock. Reason is because music wise, I am having third party matches, and two of my friends in the past week or two have had their accounts terminated off of YouTube because of too many third party matches and that's because of uh, record labels such as Sony and Warner Brothers which are of course your giant corporations this is why I am a very devout strong progressive is because I am tired of the corporations trying to control everything and I think that's why we need of course global socialism in order to get rid of the power of just a few elitists of the world. That's the problem. We live in sort of a combination of what is known as capitalism, but also what I refer to as imperialism. Because you have just a few of the top elites control the world. But I am starting a new series called Signs and Symbols. I will be talking about different symbols in subjects. I'll be talking about political topics as well on different series. I'll try to start back on the weekend review for political topics and news. Uh, but anybody who is watching my videos for the music, please, I'll try to figure some way to get a few pieces of music here and there on videos. Even though I can't do whole videos now, but I ask you to please uh, stay with my channel and please continue to watch and please support me. I'm also in the future going to be starting a vlog series on magic. Real magic, not your stage magic. Uh, but I'll try to as well as other subjects. But uh, now start the signs and symbols. I'm going to be talking tonight about a symbol which is a combination of three different symbols from different religious groups. Tell me, does anybody <coughs> in YouTube land ever heard of the person known as H.P. Blavatsky, a.k.a. Bad Blavatsky? Uh, she was a half-German, half-Russian immigrant. Uh, she was known to be a very devout racist and fascist. Uh, she did a book called The Secret Doctrine, uh, and which is a very popular book with certain uh, figureheads in the fascist movement. Uh, one in particular was Adolf Hitler. Uh, he was a big fan of H.P. Blavatsky. But here's the interesting thing. Though she was an immigrant from Europe to America, that's the thing, she lived in America, good chuck, and she married an American retired general from the Civil War. His name was Henry S. Alcott. He was a general in the Union Army under Abraham Lincoln, and also he attended at least one of the seances, which was in the White House, which of course Abraham Lincoln's wife had in the White House because she was trying to contact her passed away uh, son, and those interesting. Uh, Together, Henry S. Alcott and Baden Blavatsky started a secret type or occult type organization in America, in New York City, in fact. Uh, the organization is called the Theosophical Society, and they own a building in New York which is called the House of Theosophy. And you can find interesting political figure books there, not just the secret doctrine read by her. Dear Blavatsky, you can find the Book of the Law written by Aleister Crowley, uh, as well as you can find books probably also, I'm not sure, but you can probably also find books written by other well-known occultist-type figures, such as Kenneth Anger and Anton LaVey. Uh, and believe it or not, even a political figure you can find books from in the House of Theosophy, such as former President Jimmy Carter. Uh, basically, just like Hitler, the uh, Blavatsky was a big racist of the Jews. Uh, 
and of other colors. She believed in strictly the domination of white Europeans, and she was obsessed with the Aryan race, just as Hitler was, but considered Hitler was a big fan of uh, Blavatsky's secret doctrine, it doesn't really surprise me one bit at all. Uh, here is a something. It's kind of a bad drawing, of course, here. This is best. This is the symbol for the House of Theosophy, or rather the Theosophical Society. This is their symbol. Now, what does that remind you of? You got three different symbols, of course. First off, the ancient Egyptian cross. Next, we have the Star of David. And then, we have, of course, the swastika and right below it is the Nazi the Nazi or third Reich swastika which of course Hitler used a little different it's just sideways unlike Blavatsky's version then you see down below this black spot a different swastika which is in a reversal side the way it's drawn that's because the swastika goes back thousands and thousands of years ago back to actually the beginnings of Hinduism, believe it or not, is actually where the swastika got its foundings. It wasn't from fascism or anything. In fact, it was founded really from the early days of Hinduism is where you're, and if you do your research, uh, you will also find the swastika used in uh, Buddhism. Why? Because it, it was only until the 19th century that the swastika started becoming a symbol of evil through Blavatsky and became known as like the symbol of evil in the 20th century under Adolf Hitler. Uh, sadly, the swastika has become a symbol of feel, fear and evil and hatred, which is sad. Given the foundings of the uh, swastika was actually a symbol of good, uh, peace, and honestly, good nature. That's the problem. Evil tends to turn symbols dark. Like, for instance, the symbol I'm wearing, which is the pentacle, a big symbol for us pagans. And you see, the foundings of the pentacle were good, and even the traditional pentagram, which, of course, the Wiccans and other pagans use. Uh, then it was stolen by, of course, uh, like uh, call groups, like the Church of Satan and others, and they turned it upside down. Originally, one of the names for the original upside down inverted pentagram was known as the seal or the star of Ares, Ares god of war, because Ares is related to a goat, which of course the upside down pentagram is in the shape of a goat head. Uh, originally, it was supposed to be an Aries, but then uh, occult groups uh, took the uh, symbol and they changed it. I mean, some probably still use it as the seal or star of, uh, of course, of Aries. But then there are others who have changed it over to the uh, creature or occult uh, symbol, Bathomet. I may be pronouncing it correctly, but uh, Bathomet is a major symbol in the occult, which is supposed to represent uh, Satan. Uh, now, here's a major uh, subject I want, I'll, in a future vlog, I'll be talking about. Now, and of course in Christianity and stuff, they refer to Lucifer uh, as Satan, as devil. Uh, but, if you actually look in other views, like some occultists as well as pagans and other groups don't view Lucifer and Satan as the same being because uh, Satan is viewed as like the all-powerful ruler over demons. Lucifer is referred to as the fallen angel, the most powerful of the archangels, angelic entity, and each of them are represented by different elements in the occult. Uh, movement and stuff. Uh, Satan is referred to through like Aries, through uh, element of fire, which is actually my best friend. He's an Aries. He's a fire. 
so technically in the occult movement, he would be considered important because uh, Anton LaVey and other well-known Satanists were Aries. Uh, now, in my case, I was born in June. I'm a Gemini, and I was born under the element of air, which, of course, in the occult community, air represents Lucifer because uh, he is known as, of course, the Prince of Air, or also known as the God of the Skies. Uh, well, Christians would know him as that, but uh, technically, I don't think, even though I was brought up as a Christian in the Christian community, I ended up finding my way partially to paganism through my uh, getting into the more liturgical type church, uh, the Lutherans. So it led me down my path. Uh, then I got into Buddhism. It led me to paganism. And through paganism, I have learned to come to view things completely differently, like the occult. Uh, Christianity, Islam, uh, to me, there is no such thing as good nor evil. Uh, I think good and evil is just a viewpoint. Uh, now, am I telling everyone there is no such thing as good or evil? No, I'm not telling them that. I'm just merely saying what I believe. I believe that good and evil is a frame or a, a point of view, if you will. Uh, I think it's what you do that defines you what you are or who you are. If you want to help people, even if you are an occultist, yes, people like uh, yes, people like Crowley did a lot of bad in the world. He did do a lot of bad things to innocent people. Which is why he was a bad person. Not all occultists, though, truly. Though he did change the way things were done. Uh, look at other occultists, such as Anton LaVey. He didn't do radical stuff compared to Crowley. Uh, and look at our dear beloved in the music industry, uh, the King of Goth, Marilyn Manson. He's been a high priest in the church of Sam for a long time. He was indoctrinated by Anton LaVey himself. Uh... And I don't think Marilyn Manson's a bad person. He may have done questionable things from time to time, but I think that's everyone just about in life, whether you're a Christian or another religion. Uh, but, of course, I'll get ready to get off. And I'm going to get off, hopefully, you don't have a third-party match with this piece. It's from a group called Dragon Lord. And as always, peace out. This is Goku Sun BBC, and this goes. And may you all bless the be regardless of religion. And I just hope someday we can all get along together, regardless of our spiritual or religious viewpoints. Just remember, spirituality is important, not religion. It's not about religious ideology, it's about spiritual ideology. Spirituality does not lead to the countless deaths and murders of innocent people like religious ideology. But, just remember, may someday we all work together in the hands of brotherhood.